guys welcome back today we have an exciting video i wanted to talk about how to look good on camera i guess specifically kind of on your teams or skype business or zoom calls like how to look good facetime even on camera digitally for the purpose of like job interviewing or looking cute for your crush or looking good at work presenting whatever you have to do i feel like post-covid days a lot of it's online and i mean do we even have a specific way on how to look good if anything i feel like i've mastered it i did a lot of my job interviewing with the, like all of these things and um like presentations at work and i've even had some of my friends be like how do your teeth look so white or like how do you look so good like you look so good on the camera i don't know and even in like class presentations in college like just looking too good on the camera and even though that might sound silly i i feel like it's actually important and especially in a setting like a job interview or presentation looking good and feeling confident is going to make such a big difference in the way you come across to an audience or um, an interviewer and also kind of pretty privilege is a little bit real i hate to say it but especially in a job interview you never know so it's just best to feel and look our best and with that, I kind of want to talk about some things that I follow. Uh, number one, having like a good background. I feel like that's super important. I like to use like the automatic blur background so I don't actually focus like too hard on having a good background. Um, you really want the focal point to be you, like don't have a mess, nothing distracting in the background. Like have a good solid background um, or just blur it out or use one of those fake backgrounds. Either way, like just figure out the situation, what works best for you. On top of that, I feel like your outfit and hair kind of matters. Um, I personally like to wear, I mean I wouldn't wear this <laughs> for like a job interview obviously, but I personally think kind of a solid colored top since this is kind of only thing visible looks the best. Um, too many patterns might kind of look funky on camera or make you look whiter than you are or something like I just I really feel like solid colors look the best. I have specific makeup that I do when I'm actually doing an interview or you know some kind of presentation. I use a little bit more makeup than I normally would because I mean the camera is not the quality is not that great obviously of a laptop or webcam and it's going to um, kind of desaturate and make your makeup a little bit you know not stand out so i apply extra i feel like maybe like camera women and people um, maybe like tv reporters i feel like they do this trick where that you kind of put more makeup than you normally would so the camera will actually pick it up that's kind of my thoughts um i just do a little bit heavier makeup a little bit more contouring a little more blush a little highlight just something fun um extra like 10 percent extra if you will but on top of that i have two fun products i want to share because i think these make like the biggest difference let's talk about them um number one i feel like having a good smile just that will i mean it just changes everything i feel like everyone is attracted to a good smile it makes people happy when you're smiling and when your teeth look white especially it's like it really makes a big difference so i have this product that you might think is dumb but it's the high smile um color correcting serum that's kind of been blowing up online i've tried this before i love it okay i will it's kind of like a purple toothpaste almost you put it on and wipe it off within 30 seconds and it kind of gives your teeth this like purpley bluey glow and on camera especially on camera it comes across like your teeth are like blaringly white and it looks so good like I know this for a fact because people always comment on how white my teeth look on camera and I really think it's because of this serum. It's also like, you know, I, I don't think day to day out in the real world, like it makes much of a difference, but especially on camera, something about the coloring just picks up really well and looks good. And probably the most important thing I think out of any of these tips is really having good lighting. I think that matters in, you know, taking photos, taking selfies, I, I mean, especially videos so I just think it looks good like you don't want to look like you're in a dark dungeon with the lights off and everything so having good lighting is so important if you want to not invest in lighting uh totally understand just sit in front of a window you know it looks so good like having the window natural lighting on you is probably the best lighting but if you do want to invest in something or like maybe your setup doesn't work to where you can't just be in front of the window i would recommend something like this this um 
I don't remember the brand. I'll have to... Oh, it's the Logi, I guess. This is a plug-in USB, <laughs> so you can plug it in straight into your laptop or, you know, into a charger, whatever, into a box, whatever. And it has these buttons on the back to adjust different lighting and you can change the brightness as well as kind of the hue. So if you want cooler lighting or warmer lighting, whatever you look best in, honestly, and it's amazing. It's crazy how bright this is because, I mean, you can put this thing on high and it looks almost too good. I had turned it down a little bit because of how bright it is. Another thing is it has this great kind of, it goes, you can literally move it up and down for however tall you need it. And then this part as well kind of hooks on to your laptop at the top. And then this can be right above the camera giving you like optimal lighting. If this is a fave, I've, I'm obsessed with this thing, guys. I love this. I use this all the time um, at work and everything. And it's just perfect, okay? You need it um, if you really care about that kind of thing. But I'm obsessed, so I love this. Anyways, that is everything I have on how to look good in Zoom, camera, Teams, whatever, Skype business, how to look good for job interviews, FaceTimes, everything. Hopefully these tips helped um, and I really appreciate you making it this far if you did. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.